Hello everyone. Information Box Ticket Lifestyles brings you Immunology The MHC Molecule and Autoimmunity Examples and Diagrams First, we will go into the table of contents. What is an MHC Molecule? MHC Molecule History MHC Molecule Functions Difference between MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 molecules Process of thymic selection What is autoimmunity? Association of MHC with the autoimmune disorder Examples of autoimmune disorders which are Number 1. Multiple cyclorosis Number 2. Rheumatoid arthritis Number 3. Type 1 diabetes Number 4. Systematic lupus erythematosus Sorariasis Dermatomytosis Celiac disease Inflammatory bowel disease Which is ulceratic chloritis and Crohn disease But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my lectures. What is an MHC molecule? On chromosome number 6 of the human genome, there is a major histocompatibility complex called human lactoside antigen. The size of this is about 3.6 MB. Telomeric class 1, centromeric class 2 and class 3 region make up the three classes. Since humans are highly polymorphic, Different alleles can be found in populations various members, with the exception of identical twins. No two people can have same kind of MHC molecules. Kindly don't forget to support this channel. MHC Molecule History Number 1. Murin MHC Locus H2 was discovered by George Snell. Number 2. Dawson discovered HLA on a human chromosome's white blood cells. Number 3. The importance of these molecules in the immune response was noted by Berridge Benacerraf. And number 4. In 1980s, they shared the medical Nobel Prize with three other people. MHC Molecule Functions Antigen Presentation The fundamental job of the MHC molecule involves breaking down the foreign peptide and presenting it to T lymphocytes. This enables cells to identify the foreign antigen with more specificity and produce antibodies against it, neutralizing it. Let's look into the difference between MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 molecules. In front of you is the table of the difference between MHC class 1 and class 2. As you can see, MSC class 1 present on the surface of all nucleated cells, whereas class 2 is present on antigen presenting cells. Likewise, MHC class 1 present antigen to CD8 plus cells which is cytotoxic T lymphocytes, whereas class 1 present antigen to CD4 plus cells which is T helper cells. Lastly, class 1 binds to endogenous antigen whereas class 2 binds to exogenous antigens. What's the process of thymetic selection? Weak connections with self-peptide MHC allow T cells to survive positive selection but strong contacts result in death. This is how thymic selection primarily relies on the detection of self-peptide MHC complexes which is negative selection. Now we'll understand what is the meaning of autoimmunity. Loss of the cell's capacity to distinguish between self and non-self leads to autoimmune diseases. Antigen presentation is the mechanism by which the T cell's receptor which is present in the antigen presenting cells identifies the digested peptide fragments of the antigen that is delivered by the MHC molecule. Pure thymic 
selection of self peptide mhc complex and non self peptide mhc complex a crucial selection process that occurs in the thymus during t cells maturation is the cause of inability to distinguish between self and non self kindly don't forget to support this channel by subscribing to it association of mhc with the autoimmune disorder it is not entirely clear how MHC and autoimmune disorders are related. The predominant theory up to this point is that it results from a failure in immunological tolerance or the cell's capacity to distinguish between self and non-self antigen peptides. The loss of cell selection in the thymus is the cause of several illnesses such as type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, Hemorrhoid arthritis, Graves disease, ankylosing spondylitis, systematic lupus, erythematosis, etc. Here are some examples of autoimmune disorders. Number one, multiple sclerosis. It is an inflammatory demyelination condition that is persistent. Central nervous system gets affected. It is challenging for the brain to transmit messages to the body when the myelin shield, a covering of the nerve cells, is attacked by activated T cells and macrophages at the central nervous system where they penetrate the blood brain barrier. With the help of this diagram, you can see the pathogenesis of multiple sclerosis. The symptoms might vary from person to person hands, legs and other parts of the body that are on one side of the body are numb or weak and you may experience electric shock like feelings while bending your neck. Ineffective coordination and not being able to walk properly. Hazy visions, although interior treatments can be used to address symptoms, there is no permanent cure. Number 2. Rheumatoid Arthritis it is a chronic systematic autoimmune disorder which affects the lining of synovial joints. Associated with progressive disability, premature death and socio-economic burdens. Mainly females than males and mainly observed in elderly people. So with the help of this diagram, you can see the rheumatoid arthritis pathogenesis. Number 1. Unknown trigger promotes inflammation in synovial membrane, attracting leukocytes to the tissue. Number two, autoreactive CD4. Number two, autoreactive CD4 plus T cells activate macrophages, resulting in pro-inflammatory cytokine production. Number three, cytokines induce MMP and RANK ligands production by fibroblasts. Number 4. RANK ligands activates osteoclast and MMP destroys tissue resulting in joint destruction. Here are symptoms of this disease. Arthragial pain in joints, swelling and redness in joints, limiting joint motion, weight loss, fever, Fatigue. There is no permanent cure, but temporary treatment can help to treat symptoms. Breastfeeding can decrease the rate of occurrence of RA in females. Number 3. Type 1 Diabetes. It is an autoimmune condition caused by T cells. Insulin shortage brought on by the loss of pancreatic beta cells results in hyperglycemia and a percent city for ketoacidosis. Although the condition can manifest at any age, it frequently manifests in childhood or adolescent. Only 5 to 10 percent of the patients with diabetes have type 1 diabetes, the remainder have type 2, monogenic types of diabetes or diabetes brought on by other causes of isolate cell damage. Because insulin helps sugar into the bloodstream, 
when autoimmune cells attack the pancreatic beta cells which are responsible for producing insulin, sugar builds up in the body and rises blood sugar levels. Isolate cell autoantibodies Autoantibodies against insulin, glutamic acid decarboxylase or tyrosine phosphate IA2 and IA2 beta and zinc D8 are antibodies indicators of autoimmunes against beta cells. Human leukocyte antigen HLA genes DQA and DQB have linked in studies to illnesses risk. As you can see, immune response in type 1 diabetes with this diagram. Each cell type secretes a distinct hormone and expresses different tissue-specific proteins. In type 1 diabetes, an affected T cells recognizes peptides from B cells, specific proteins, and kills the B cells. Glucagon and somatostatin are still produced by alpha and gamma cells, but no insulin is made. The symptoms are weight loss, frequent urination, impaired vision, and hunger attacks. Number 4. Systematic Lupus Erythematosus It is an autoimmune systematic illness accompanied with multi-organ inflammation. Loss of cell tolerance results from autoimmune antibodies formation of nucleic acid and the proteins that bind to it again. The production of inflammatory cytokinin which induce tissue damage and the activation of autoreactive B and T cells which cause organ damage are both significantly influenced by innate immunity. The symptoms are fever, skin rashes, pain or swelling in joints, sun sensitivity, oral ulcers, heart, kidney, lung problems, psychosis. Kindly don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Psoriasis It is a chronic inflammatory skin disease which shows comorbidity with another autoimmune disease such as arthritis. You can see with the help of this diagram the pathogenesis of psoriasis. Symptoms of this disease is scaly red patches confined to a specific area, nails with thick pitted or ridged lining, stiff and swollen joints, bleeding in skin due to extreme dryness, itching, burning, painful lesions. Since this disease symptoms appear erratically and can occasionally lay latent in the body for years, there is no permanent cure. However, a few drugs can help alleviate symptoms such as immunosuppressant methotrexate. Number 6. Dermatomytosis The body's inability to distinguish its own cells as alien, a hereditary factor, cancer in elderly individuals, an infection, a drug, etc. Rashes and muscular irritations are the results. Symptoms include painful sunburn rashes, upper eyelid swelling, spots of red and purple color on knee, elbow, toes and knuckles, stiffness and pain in joints, hair thinning with dry skin, red fingernails, weakness in muscles around the hip, back, shoulder and neck, weight loss, tiredness, blood test, an electromyogram, an MRI, a biopsy of the skin or muscles etc. can all be used to make a diagnosis. Aminosuppressants medications including erectrolimus, methotrexate and azithroprine are used throughout the treatment. Number 7. Celiac disease. It is also known as gluten sensitive erythropathy, non tropical spirin, and lyaxpirin. 
a long term autoimmune digestive condition that affects the small intestine and is brought on by consuming gluten which is naturally present in grains like wheat and barley about 1% of the world's population has this condition the symptoms include bloating chronic diarrhea constipation gas lactose intolerance nausea and vomiting pain in abdomen genetic testing and biopsies of the small intestine are usually done for diagnosis and it has no permanent cure number 8 inflammatory bowel disease ulcerative colitis and crohn disease two disorders namely crohn disease and ulcerative colitis are characterized by chronic gastrointestinal tract inflammation affective areas of the small intestine are typically affected by crohn's disease which manifest as patches of damage in any portion of gastrointestinal tract all layers of gi tracts are impacted by the inflammation ulcerative colitis doesn't manifest in patches and affect the big intestine and rectum only impact the big intestine inner layer as you can see with this diagram the pathogenesis of with this diagram you can understand the inflammatory bowel disease pathogenesis the symptoms include persistent diarrhea abdominal pain rectal bleeding or bloody stools weight loss fatigue The diagnosis was done by endoscopy and colonoscopy. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for supporting this channel.